Hello, here we are around the planet for May. I have the blessing to interview a dear friend, Dori Smith. I think you're going to find a lot of great fun things about her. So Dori, thank you for being interviewed. Oh, thanks for asking. I appreciate it. So why don't you tell the Planet family a little bit about what you're doing now and what you've done in the company because you've been with us for a while. Yeah, well, um, now I'm uh, in sales, front, front store sales with oh. folks. Uh, something I said I'd never do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> never say never. And you're fabulous. Um, and, uh, and I actually love it. Mm -hmm. I love interacting with people and the customers and, uh, you know, of course it always helps that to work in an environment where everybody's supportive mm -hmm. and just our business philosophy is, is pro customer. And so that makes it really fun. Um, but as far as past right. here, what, what else have you done with us? Yeah. Wow. I, it's been a while. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen a lot of people come and go. I came and went, but I uh, came in 2012. Okay. I remember um, being interviewed by Christian and, okay. and some other people that are still around. Uh -huh. And um, started out with one other person uh, handling phone calls. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, we were just starting the internet uh, development of the internet department for sales. Isn't that amazing? 2012. Yeah, and it was two people and then uh, fast forward to t 2018, we were six people in that mm -hmm. office in the original BDC. Yep, um, mm -hmm. Business Development Center. Yes, and uh, that was a lot of fun um, and then even the service side of that uh -huh. had developed so much mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, then um, I decided at the end of that year uh, that I needed to have a an adult gap year, so I, I call I it a, uh -huh. yeah I call it a my uh, gap year at fifty four. Okay. Uh, kids are grown, yep. you know, single again and uh, no pets, so took off to Cambodia. Well, to back up a little bit because you didn't just take off. What did you really do to prepare for this trip? Oh, well, I was shocked that you sold everything. Yes, that's true. I, <laughs> I, I kind of went with the expectation of being gone like five years. I know. And um, so I went ahead and said, I don't want to put stuff in storage. People say you never come back for it. I so I sold, gave away, sold, handed things off to my kids uh -huh. um, and consolidated my whole life of 54 years into about just, 10 boxes. I was just shocked. <laughs> I was so impressed. I was like, I can't believe you're really doing it, Dory. I remember talking to you saying, you're like, I'm doing it. I I can't believe how fast it happened because if you remember, I took a trip to Thailand mm -hmm. and Cambodia yep. just to explore and see uh -huh. if I felt like I should mm -hmm. go. Uh -huh. And after having some interactions and, and being asked to come teach there at a mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. I had uh, like two months to come back and get rid of everything. I know, and it was a miracle. It really was God's yeah. hand because, uh, you know, just furniture, everything flowed out as right. it needed to. Yeah. And um, fell into place. And then I think the worst thing I had to deal with was I had to let you and Lee know, know. Um, that I was choosing to do this. But uh, I, I know. loved, yeah, I just, you were so supportive. I still remember how supportive Aww. you both were. And um, op keeping the door open for any time I come back. I was just so proud of you to make this life change. Yeah. And it's, it was an adventure. Yeah. You know, such an adventure. Well, I, I still laugh at myself because I remember, you know, I felt like I'd really gotten in the groove here mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. was doing quite well. You're doing very well. Like, yeah. Number, I mean, let's be honest, you had a lot of number one things that you were hitting. Uh, yeah. And it, was, and, yeah. It, it was fulfilling, but then I felt that mm -hmm. I was getting stagnant. And right. so... I made the comment, I need to get uncomfortable again, because I was too comfortable. Right. And uh, I ate those words later. <laughs> when I was in Cambodia, I remember thinking, wow, maybe I should have been a little more specific and not say uncomfortable like this, but right. challenged. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I went from being very comfortable and having things pretty easy right. to real challenges of living Share in a Share a little bit if you feel comfortable. I mean, I think it's... People find that, in, I find it interesting, all the things that you did. Oh, yeah, well. And some of your um, challenges and some of the wonderful things, too. Right. It's, um, so I did take a job working in a, a school that served young children, like elementary age mm -hmm. children, uh, teaching them English. So mm -hmm. it, it was a chance for them to learn English, plus they spoke their Cam Cambodian right. language, which is Khmer. Okay. And um, I worked with five-year-olds. Oh, my and gosh. Yeah, I never thought I was going to be teaching <laughs> five-year-olds, but these kids were so Aww. smart, and I had so much fun 
with them because they were, they kept me active uh -huh. and uh -huh. jumping around and but they had already learned they were already speaking English so wow. we were just practicing uh, what mm -hmm. they could accomplish at five oh my god I was amazed mm -hmm. um, and so that was definitely a highlight and then of course I wanted to be able to travel throughout right. mm -hmm. Southeast Asia so I did get to cover countries like uh, Thailand Vietnam oh my Laos um, also down into Malaysia and my favorite was Bali oh my God. so I've, I haven't been there I completed oh my, my eat pray love uh, uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, checklist yes. by finally getting to Bali, hitting okay. all the countries. So, oh my God, um, Bali was absolutely. I why highly is that, recommend. Why is it. that your favorite? You know what I loved about it, even though it's considered third world, it's mm -hmm. a beautiful island country, mm -hmm. and um, because their their religion, primary religion, is Hindu, okay, they burn incense morning and evening. Oh. So they, they all go out. They're very religious, mm -hmm. and they put out these little trays, bamboo trays, uh -huh. with the ghee and flowers and yep. burning incense so everywhere you go smells, smells so wonderful, wonderful. yeah, yeah it's you don't you don't right. smell anything bad right it's just That's beautiful what, oh that so is beautiful it was and the people were very loving and very accepting and right it's just a very a peaceful culture and beautiful scenery such so. an adventure well i'm very proud of you for doing it so i was so but i also was super excited when i heard you were coming back so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't know if you know the story. I might not. But, um, of course, I came back right at the mm -hmm. beginning of COVID mm -hmm. and lockdowns and things like that. So I stayed in Texas to help my family mm -hmm. get through right. that. But I knew I wanted to come back to Colorado. I love Colorado. Oh, it's, it's really so more home to me than having grown up in Texas right. my whole life. And um, after I got back here, I'd taken another job working from home thinking, okay. you know, because of the yeah. environment, it made sure. more sense, but I wasn't happy. Okay. And then I had a dream. I did not know this. I had a dream mm -hmm. that I was here at Planet Honda, uh, Honda. I walked in and I came in into this office. Oh my gosh. And Lee was here and I was talking to Lee and he said, we'd love to have you come <gasps> back. I can't believe you yeah, that. I totally I had love that dream. That. And so then I think within a day, I had to come get my car serviced. Okay. So I went and talked to Christian and just was talking about things. And he right. goes, you know, Dory, if you want to come back now is the time. Mm -hmm. And I go, wow, I feel like this is a, a message from God. You just had the dream. I told him about the dream. Yes. And he's like, you know, we're, this is the time to come back. Wow. So... I went ahead and made arrangements to leave my other uh, job. Okay. Was very actually felt, felt very relieved uh -huh. about that. Good. And when I was walking out uh -huh. from talking to Christian, I looked over. I think I saw you in the distance, uh -huh. and I saw Lee here in the office. Uh -huh. Oh my god! And I was like, I had that vision, that picture That's of so that surreal. dream. Yeah. I know. So I was like, I knew that I was supposed that was to be back to be. here. This mm -hmm. is my family. Yep. This has been my family. Well, that's how we're so too. long. Oh. So yeah, I really and. I'm loving it, and I love that I love coming to work, and that's all I really wanted is a job that mm -hmm. I felt excited about being at every right. day, right. and uh, even through the, some of the hardships, sure. it's not, they're nothing compared to, right. you know, other situations in life and things I've right. experienced in the world, so right. I'm very grateful, feel very blessed. Well, we feel the same way, and I love coming to work, too, and seeing everybody. I, to me, it really does feel like family, because yeah. we all know each other, we've all been through a lot. Been through a lot, and now we're both grandparents. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that, if you'd like. Oh yeah, I um so uh, finally my son and daughter-in-law that are uh -huh. military based yep. in San Antonio had their first grandbaby, a little girl. Oh, Ren. blue eyes. Blue eyes. Uh, she, we think so. I. Because yours uh, are so blue. Yeah, my son, <laughs> my son kept saying, "I hope her eyes are blue, mom," and I said, "Well." Tates are brown, so I don't know if she wants to hear you say, oh. <laughs> say that, but she's like, oh, no, I want blue yeah. eyes, too. So. Oh, so you don't Anyway, know. We, I, I haven't seen her up close right. because when I saw her a few weeks ago, she's still very newborn, right. but they right. look like they're coming in quite blue. How so fun. Yeah. Well, I have a brown-eyed son-in-law and a blue-eyed granddaughter, so it's possible. It, every, anything's possible, I right? Oh, I know. Oh, my gosh. I just can't wait to play with her. Oh, yep. there's nothing better. I'm so excited for you. That's what everybody says. So That's awesome. Well, I have you to look up to for, oh, for the six? best grandma in the world, oh, well, right? Well, thank you. You will be right there with me. It's so much fun. So I, I appreciate wait. it. So let me ask you a question. What do you find the biggest difference between making appointments? Because you were still booking appointments and kind of selling things versus 
in person? Is it just the people or the one-on-one -on -one visual or what do you like? What's different? Yeah, well, you know, um, now it's kind of, you do it all. We get to uh -huh. take phone calls, and we also manage the internet traffic mm -hmm. that comes in, all of us as sales. And then it is fun to be able to maybe make a fun, funny uh -huh. video uh -huh. of a car that someone wants to come see with me in it. Yep. And half the time I do have a funny look on my face. <laughs> but I just figure, you know what, that's just who I am. Yeah. I, I definitely am not perfect. Right. But, you right. know, my... I love to be able to introduce myself and let people right. know we aren't your, you know, right. grandpa's car dealership. The no. way we do business is so right. different. It is. It's so warm and fun, mm -hmm. and it's meant to be an exciting time, mm -hmm. not no. like you oh, know. I have to go buy a to car. the dentist. I'm going to get beat up on. You know, <laughs> right. it's not. It's, yeah. It's a, it, is, it should be fun. Car buying should be fun. Right. I you mean, know? exactly. Yeah, you're. It's you're buying. Yes, a vehicle to help you get from A to B, but right. also it could be like a toy. Exactly. You know, or something to enjoy. And, and right. And who doesn't enjoy that? Right. Everybody does. Exactly. So, yeah, it's it's been, I like that we get to do a little bit of everything. Right. I do, too. I think it's great. It's very relational. You know, that's what it's kind of this process is to me is like you meet somebody, which is why we have so many referrals and, you know, third, fourth, fifth generations buying cars from people. Right. Right. Yeah. And I love that we are big about... Um, getting people to give us feedback, because it does help us grow Absolutely. to know yeah. areas we need to yeah. grow in. But um, I felt very complimented. I got a phone call out of the blue the other day oh. from someone who literally read a review online. Seriously. And so I realized it really does work. It, does, you know? it really matters. You know, I read reviews too, because yeah. people aren't going to lie. I mean, if it's a bad experience, they're not going to say, oh, I had a great experience. Right. And when you read what people write about you, it is very heartfelt. And they, they give specific examples. Well, so I and, and I appreciate that about all my customers. You know, I love that we have a human connection, mm -hmm. and it's not just transactional nope. or you know a, a robot or whatever. Nope. You know, yep. yeah, that's what so. I always say. We're always we're all people. We can, yep. yeah, we make it mistakes, and we'll own them and apologize. Exactly. But we will try every day to do our best. Right. And that's all we can do. Yep. And grow from those. Exactly. So, Dory, is there? I mean, you work with thousands of customers. So, is there one specific time that you can remember? helping somebody and you're like, wow, that was really, that was really awesome. Well, it's hard to narrow that down. I'm sure. Um, I have a, a funny story about um, getting to work with a family and uh, a gentleman was buying one of our Hondas oh. and he introduced me to his wife and he had mentioned to me, his wife, uh, I forget her name, but her, she was the daughter or is the daughter of Denver's barrel man. And that's so we right. had so much fun talking about that. I mean, that's such a, He's such a big, visual. He was a cool big, histor yes. historical yes. part of Denver. Yes. Yeah. And she said, you know, he really oh. was just that um, fun and loving, uh -huh. even as a dad. Oh. So it was so, that was just kind of like, I that's felt like fun. I was meeting a celebrity. It's kind of a celebrity. Even yes, he was, it was a celebrity. He like told me you went to a game, you took your picture with the, with the the you know, barrel man. Right. Yeah. So that I love that story. Was fun. Um, but you know, there's been several times when I've had people come in and I can tell they're you know just not in great mm -hmm. a great mm -hmm. situation mm -hmm. and they really have a need. Like mm -hmm. they you know I really want to see if we can help get mm -hmm. them yeah. mobile so mm -hmm. they can get back to work or whatever they're trying to right. do. Right. Right. And um, they've had challenges in their life or credit challenges. So I. And I feel very sensitive to that because mm -hmm. sure. I've had areas in my life in the mm -hmm. past that were challenged we like have that. Too. We have and too. so I, I never like to make someone feel judged. No. You know, that yeah. they're not perfect credit score or whatever because we all come from different backgrounds and different situations different that happen to us. Different bumps in life. Yeah. You, know? you just don't So know. it's so rewarding when I can help someone. Oh. Um, learn to or be able to get the credit they need to be able to purchase the right. car right. so they can start rebuilding their life mm -hmm. you know and then I just feel like Aww. almost like a social worker in the exactly. sense of helping them move forward in their life because that's that what it is sense. it helps you have, get to your job on time because you have a job with a vehicle right I mean it, it's it's important. it's vital mm -hmm. yeah I mean our we're not set up in the city really um, mm -hmm. with public transportation to help mm -hmm. people get easily right. to any right. kind of job so mm -hmm. So it's important to have it's a car, yeah. yeah. And um, so, yeah, that's that's a, been a really rewarding experience on multiple occasions to Aww. help people that um, just needed someone to listen yeah. to them, right? And find the right way to get things done. And so, I mm -hmm. I I feel self reward from that. Yeah. All right. Well, Dory, thank you again. I appreciate you taking your time to come and 
visit and chat with me. I know you're working a car deal at the same time <laughs> and your customer is in finance. So uh, th I know you're very, very busy, but I always appreciate talking with you and seeing your smiling face. You brighten my day every time I see you. So thank you very much. Aww, thank you so I really much. Mean Ditto, that. Olga. I just I love you <laughs> and Lee and the family and uh, the whole Planet family. I just really feel uh, blessed. We feel exactly the same way. Thank so, you so much. Thank you.